Disturbing video recorded in Kingsland showing a Camden County deputy throwing a woman to the ground. The incident was back in January, but was just shared with us by the Camden County NAACP, who obtained the video this week after getting a tip. The deputy in the video has been identified as Christy Newman. The NAACP says this is not the first time they feel she's used unnecessary force, and they're calling for her to be fired. Marilyn Parker tells us more. A woman thrown to the ground, handcuffed, punched in the face, right then shoved into the front of a patrol car. This video out of Kingsland is hard to watch. What did you think when you saw this? Well, I think that was a little bit of overkill. I mean, I wouldn't want to be stopped by that person or anything. I just, it was just too much, too rough. It started as a traffic stop. I'll be at the Shell station. Deputies say Cheris Faria failed to stop at an intersection. That's when Deputy Christy Newman pulls her over, runs her license, and she sees that Faria has a non-judgment suspension. But dispatch didn't know what it was for. She's non-judgment suspended, so I can't let her drive off. The report states Deputy Newman told Faria about the suspension and she couldn't drive, so she asked her to step out of the truck. Faria refused. According to the report, Deputy Newman says Faria was non-compliant and at some point I got the door unlocked and attempted to get her out the car. This part of the video shows the door was open. Then Deputy Newman closes the door. Then she tries to open it again, reaches in, and you see the driver's hand come out. Then the deputy moves into the truck. From the angle of the video, we can't tell what's happening inside the truck or why the person wouldn't get out. But what we do see is the deputy struggling to get this woman out. She even mounts herself on the car to pull her out. And once she's out, she ends up on the ground. Newman's report says the woman was resisting her, holding onto the steering wheel while shoving and yanking her. Another deputy arrives and tries to tase the woman from the other side, but it doesn't work. Deputy Newman is on top of Faria is back. There's a struggle to get her on her stomach. The deputy throws something away from the woman while the other deputy's knee is on Faria's back. In the report, Newman says she was actively resisting while out of the truck. In the video, Deputy Newman gets her in handcuffs, pulls her up by her arms, lets her go, then steps over her while pointing down at her. Then the deputy walks away and Faria stands up. Newman's report says she tried to help her up, but Faria pushed her away. In the video, you see once Faria is up, the two deputies turn and face her. Then Newman grabs Faria by the arm, tugs on her shoulder, hits her twice in the face, pulls her by her hair, and pushes her head into the front of the patrol car. The deputy's narrative says in my attempt to control the situation, she ended up being hit in the face and then forcefully put on the bumper of my patrol vehicle. Wow. That's the first thing went through my mind. Camden County NAACP President Timothy Bissett Sr. says this was excessive force, especially with the woman in handcuffs. This is a violation of public trust, and we want to see uh, Deputy Newman off the streets. We believe that she need to be terminated, and we want to go as far as saying that she need to be arrested because she did assault this individual during that traffic stop. Newman was given a warning in January, and according to the department's Facebook page, she was named Deputy of the Month just two months later. And if you take a look at your screen, we got a statement from Faria that reads, I'm working through the traumatizing experience one day at a time. Being a child of a law enforcement officer for my entire life, I never expected to be placed in this situation. It goes on to say my ultimate goal after this is to push for better training and to remove officers that clearly pose a huge threat to society for the first time and not wait until it's too late and someone's life was placed in the hands of an out of control law enforcement officer. Now, I want to show you this employee warning report that the NAACP gave us from the sheriff's office. They noted that the deputy was in violation of the use of force policy in according with the Camden County Sheriff's Office and that the woman posed no immediate threat. Now, we're told that our process or our request is still being processed through the department. Once we get that information, we'll update you on air and online at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station.